Mavis Makubela sells refreshments outside school, and Wednesday is a day she'll never forget. She was there during the attack. I was very scared. I'm traumatized because he used to buy fruit here. A parent who tried to assist the injured teen is traumatized. I had nightmares. I didn't sleep the whole night. Seeing my pictures, I was trying, struggling to breathe. It's alleged Muzi Shabalala was stabbed by boys who did not attend the school earlier in the day while playing soccer. It's believed he kicked a ball which hit a girl in the stomach. Her friends were allegedly responsible for his death. A solitary rose near the spot where Muzi Shabalala died. He was stabbed in the neck by a group of boys who arrived in a car and this is where he fell. And his family is struggling to come to terms with their loss. I raised him with his grandpa selling bananas to take him to school. He never disappointed. Authorities say that red flagged the school. The very same school has been identified as a problematic school. As the department we have identified it as a problematic school. That's where you find issues of your peer, peer group pressure and all those uh, associated things. And luckily within our programs we had identified the school to be trained on the 14th of March. Unfortunately now this incident happens now on the 29th of, of, of February. And experts say a violent society is to blame. And the way society is we, we, are, we are teaching our children to be very violent. This is the second fatal school stabbing this week. Funeral preparations are underway for 16-year-old Raylan Fortain. He was stabbed to death at the Bovalon Secondary School in Valhalla Park. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News.